guys! Today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts, opinions, and feels on Wapa Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. It took me long enough to read this book. So many of you guys have been telling me to read Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell for so long. I finally picked it up and I read it. And let me just tell you, I love this book so much. If you don't know what Fangirl is about, we follow this girl by the name of Kath, who is off to college with her twin sister, Rin, and they're very close leading up to the moments of going to college. But when they get to college, Rin, her sister, is like, yo, I want to go do my own thing. So Rin kind of leaves Kath in the back seat and goes off and does her own thing. So Kath is left trying to figure out college on her own. She's very shy, so she really struggles with trying to fit in and getting to know different people. But her roommate comes along, Reagan comes in and really supports her in trying to kind of get out there and get out of her comfort zone. So we kind of follow Kath's adventure at college and trying to figure it all out while also dealing with some family chaos. Like I said, I love this book so much. I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I did, but I freaking loved it. It was fantastic. Rainbow Rowell is just a wonderful storyteller. She has such a quirky writing style that I love. This book is full of humor, but it's also got some really honest and real moments, and I really enjoyed that about this book. There are so many relatable characters within the story, and I highly recommend checking it out. That's all I can say without spoiling this book. I really want to talk about each of the characters because I loved each of them so very much. So if you have not read Fangirl, you should definitely go read it. I highly recommend it. Go pick it up, check it out, read it, and then come back and join me for this little discussion. Woo! I want to first talk about Reagan because I was a little bit unsure about Reagan's character when we first were introduced to her. I wasn't sure the kind of impact that Reagan was going to have on Kath's life because they kind of seem to have these very different lives. Kath is like a home buddy, doesn't really want to go out and experience life, and Reagan is just like the complete opposite. She's out there enjoying life, going to parties, having a good old time, and so I wasn't sure the kind of impact that Reagan was going to have on Kath. I wasn't sure if it was going to be a good one, but it really turned out that Reagan was the one to get Kath out of her apartment and get her to go and experience life. And it was nice seeing Reagan have this positive influence on Kath's life. She's also just a great friend in general. The fact that she was so encouraging of Kath and Levi getting together was really nice to see because Reagan does have a past with Levi, so I wasn't sure how that was going to work out, but it ended up that Reagan was really supportive of that and I really enjoyed seeing that. I was really happy that Kath and Abel ended up breaking up. I wasn't sure if that relationship was going to last. I was kind of spoiled for this book a little bit in the fact that I knew that Kath and Levi were eventually going to end up together because everybody's like, Kath and Levi, I ship it so hard. And I'm over here like, yeah, thanks for spoiling the book for me, okay? Now I know who's in the game. But it was clear that Kath and Abel did not have a healthy relationship at all. But the freaking jerkwad, the way that he broke up with Kath was just so disrespectful and so awful. I was just cringing the whole time that whole breakup was happening. You don't break up with somebody saying, it's not like we were really together. No, you don't do that. You kind of have to be considerate of the other person's feelings and emotions when you break up with somebody. And he clearly wasn't at all. <laughs> I loved how passionate Kath was about the Simon Snow series. I've never gone as far to write fan fiction about a series, but I'm definitely a fan who enjoys having like posters and wearing merchandise for things like Harry Potter, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. So on that level, I related to Kath, and it was so nice reading about another character who was similar to me in that kind of way. I was so sad when Kath turned in that short story and she got a freaking F on it for plagiarism. Now I'm not going to go into that. I personally don't think it's plagiarism but I can totally see why it might not be the most appropriate thing to turn in for an assignment. Seeing Kath pour her heart and soul into this piece and then to get it back and receive an F it was just like oh oh oh. So next up we've got this Nick fella and you know what at first I kind of shipped Kath and Nick. I was all about that. I was like ooh I'm really enjoying these writing dates that they're having. It was really nice to see them kind of come together and and write together and I just I enjoyed that little relationship thing that was happening I was like all about it but then freaking Nick went all douchey on her took the assignment and turned it in as his own and just ah oh. he was so manipulative in that scene when he like revealed it to Kat that he was gonna turn it in as his own assignment he basically didn't give her a chance to fight for herself he was just like yeah so I'm gonna turn it in I'm gonna put my name on it because I clearly did all the work and you just edited it she just edited it. Okay, Nick. Okay. No. That's like the worst insult you could ever give a co-writer. I was so happy that Professor Piper caught on to the fact that Kath had been involved in the project, which truly shows that Kath was not just an editor on this project and that she really had quite a bit of input on what was going on with that story. When Nick came to her about the award that he was receiving for the project and how he couldn't get the reward unless he put Kath's name on it, and she freaking stood her ground. She didn't let him walk all over her. And I also was just so happy in that moment to see like all her friends. We've got Reagan, 
we've got Levi, we've got Ren. The whole squad was there to back her up just in case she needed it. Now, of course, I want to talk about the Kath and Levi relationship. It was just such a nice and innocent relationship, and I just loved it so much. I just love how supportive they were of each other. Levi was really supportive of Kath and all these different things that she was involved in, like her fan fiction. He was really encouraging of her doing the fan fiction, and he was also really encouraging of her writing project when she got the second chance, and he really wanted her to succeed at that. He took her to the hospital when her dad was in the hospital. He showed up at the hospital when Rin was at the hospital, and just all these different things. Like, Levi was just such a supportive boyfriend, and it was just so nice to see that. And Kath was also really supportive of Levi. I feel like we see Levi being more supportive than Kath is supportive of him, but I still feel like she was really there for him. Like, when she spent the whole night reading The Outsiders to him. And I just love their relationship so much. They don't really seem like a couple that would go together because they have kind of completely different lives, but they came together and they worked so well together. I was so happy to see Rin and Kath come together towards the end of this novel and to see how they had kind of repaired their relationship. I wish it would have been revealed what happened exactly to Rin that night that she ended up in the hospital and what went down between her and Courtney, but I was really happy with the fact that Kath and Rin kind of came together and made up and put their differences aside. The one complaint that I have about this book is that it just kind of ended and it just kind of leaves you hanging. Like you just want more when you finish this book. That's a classic Rainbow Rowell ending right there. But for the most part, I love this book so much. You guys should let me know down below what you guys thought of Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. What was your favorite moment within this book? I'd love to know. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you soon with a new video. Later. Wapa! Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. And it took me so little Kind of have to be aware of the other person's I just love how supportive